Oh, I love you too. I won't ever let a man come between us again. No matter who he is. No matter what. No one will ever come between us. No matter what. What? Oh, someone's at the Come door. On. Someone's at the door. I'll get it. Oh. 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 Eve, what time is it? We've been calling here for over an hour trying to reach you. Antonio is not at the hospital. I know. We, we turned the phones off so that he could get some sleep. He's here? Oh, thank God. Yeah, he showed up out of the blue last night. Yeah, he almost caught us together. He didn't. No, we were afraid he might have seen us, but the strangest thing happened. When he came to the window, uh, he was blind. He was blind? Yeah. Oh, I was afraid something like that might happen. That's why I wanted him to stay in the hospital. You blind? No, he's fine now. He got his sight back, and then Luis and I put him to bed. So you haven't told him about your relationship? No. He still thinks he's going to marry Sheridan. Just waiting for Dr. Russell to give us the okay to tell him the truth. We didn't want to put Antonio in any kind of danger. That's good, because he needs to be kept calm. Now, if he had caught you and Louise together last night, the shock could have been too much for him. I hate to think what would have happened. Where's Lolita? Then? Um, Phyllis took him to give him a bath. I'm glad you're here. Look, I know you have some problems, but I really need to talk to you right now. Hi. What happened? Did you and, and Chad tell Simone about your relationship? No. No, we couldn't, and it was really awful. Okay, all right. What was awful? Simone asked Daddy if she and Chad could start dating. And Daddy actually gave them permission to date. Uh, I, I, I don't believe it. Why did you try to set them straight? Well, we were all set to, but then Daddy started going on and on about how proud he was of me that I didn't have a boyfriend. And how glad he was that I didn't get distracted from tennis and start going out with boys. I'm really sorry. You should have told them the truth. I just couldn't. I mean, I couldn't break Daddy's heart and Simone's at the same time. I know. But see, that they're going to get over it. And the longer that you wait to tell them the truth, the harder it will be. You're right. I mean, you certainly are proof of that. So, how are you doing? I know you were pretty upset last night after Ethan told you that, you know, he didn't want to be with you. Um, I'm feeling much better today. You are? Mm-hmm. Yes, I spent last night, you know, thinking about things, and I've, I've come to terms with things. Teresa, I hope you really did hear Ethan. I mean, he was pretty clear when he said that the two of you could never be together. You have to let him go. Don't worry, Whitney. I know exactly what I have to do. For sure, Julian would be down here. He wasn't in bed when I woke up. Well, I haven't seen him this morning, I'm happy to say. Well, where is he? <laughs> now, how would I know? And why would I care? I was happy when he was dead, remember? I wish he'd stayed that way. You know, I don't think he came to bed at all last night. He is up to something. Really? Hello, this is Julian we're talking about. He's always up to something. And you're sure you don't know where he is? Well, the last time I talked to him, I, I think he said he was going over to Tabitha's. 
Tabitha's. Why on earth would he be going there? Get a chainsaw, cut them into teeny little pieces, put them in the freezer. Oh, please, zombie, I'm very hungover this morning. I can't think what to do with his body right now. <laughs> Tell me I didn't just hear that. Oh, good demons, he's alive again. Amazing. He refuses to die. Why didn't you finish him off? Because oh. Timmy told me not to kill him. He was afraid I'd never be able to join him in heaven. How like that's ever going to happen? Look, it's not too late, Tabitha. Finish him off. But Timmy begged me not to do it, zombie. Forget Timmy. Remember all the horrible things the cranes have done to you in the past. They tried to burn you at the stake over 300 years ago. Are you just going to let them get away with that? No, I'm not. He will be punished. <laughs> What? Where am I? What's going on? What I can't fuck Tabitha? Good Lord, last night. Oh, oh this is going right to my head. Oh, oh. No idea. Oh. You really get into it, don't you? <laughs> believe you're ready for more. <laughs> more? I'm quite flattered, but really, dear, I'm just a bit too hungover and, and exhausted. I, I'm really, I'm really not, not up for it right now. I don't think I've ever experienced anything like last night. Believe me, I thought I'd experienced it all. You have some tricks up your sleeve, Tabitha. Some things that I didn't even know of, you sly puss. <laughs> oh, you've got the wrong end of the stick, mate. No. You have a fire burning in you, girl. A red-hot fire. <laughs> I hereby declare thee a witch, Tabitha Lennox. We shall meet again but on my terms, and I will destroy you all! Yes, and you're the one who set me afire, Julian. Oh, well, I'm very flattered, but to tell you the truth, last night, you set me on fire. 
Last night was wonderful. You really are incredible, you know that? So are you. I have an idea. I think that you and I should start looking for an apartment together. Apartment? Why? Well, there really is no reason for us to stay in this place, is there? Well, I'm here to protect my mother's interests. Gwen, I mean, I, I would hate to leave her here unprotected from Julian. I'm still her attorney, don't forget. Yeah, but your attempt at getting Julian's Bermuda divorce overturned failed. I know, but even if I don't get the divorce put aside, she still has a property settlement to go through. And, and I have to make sure my brother and my sisters are taken care of. Okay, I guess the most important reason for us to leave is because Teresa's living here now. <laughs> Gwen... This place is over a hundred rooms. We don't have to see her if we don't want no, to. No, you know that is not true. She'll find a way to be near you, Ethan. She'll, she'll find a way to pull you back in. She'll, she'll keep lying and manipulating, just like she did when uh, she acted like she was helpless with her baby so that you would help her. Gwen, I'm no fool. I'm on to Teresa. She can try whatever she wants. It's not gonna work. She is not gonna drag me in again with her old tricks. thing about Teresa, she always comes up with something new. She'll always find a new plot or a scheme, any way to get you back, even. What do you mean you know what you're going to do? Why do I think this means that you're not going to give up Ethan? I am not. I am never going to give up on Ethan. Teresa, no, Honey, please. I want Ethan to be my husband. Okay, I want him to raise my child. I want him to be part of my family. And okay. I'm going to make it happen. How? By using the Crane Empire. What? You know, you really are crazy, because this doesn't no, make any sense. No, I'm perfectly sane. Now, I, I know that there are a lot of obstacles, okay? But I'm prepared to overcome them. Obstacles. Now that, I think, is the understatement of the year. Ethan doesn't want to be with you because he can't trust you. Yeah, I, I, he thinks that I lied to him. You did lie to him. Many, many times. So I will rebuild his trust. I know that that Gwen is in his bed right now, but it doesn't worry me. It doesn't? No. Because Ethan is not swayed by sex. He was raised a crane. He's swayed by power. So... So uh, I am Mrs. Julian Crane, and you can't get much more powerful than that. And I'm going to use that power to get him back. Teresa, this is just another one of your fantasies. You know that, don't you? I mean, thinking that you can get Ethan back by using the Crane Empire? I can, Whitney, and I will. See, I learned that you can't just sit around and hope for the best. A woman has to make her own destiny. And I believe in fate and romance. But, you know, if Cinderella were around today, she wouldn't just show up at the ball in a pretty dress and just expect to win the prince. She would take over the kingdom. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Antonio must have been able to see you to get from the hospital to this cottage. Well, he said that he was fine until he got here. And then when he looked in the window, he said he went blind. Dear God, what does that mean, Eve? I don't know, Pilar, but it doesn't sound good. Well, he was fine by the time we convinced him to go to bed. We tried to talk him into letting us take him back to the hospital, but he said he felt fine. Yeah, so we were going to take him to the hospital this morning. Yeah. Obviously, I wasn't going to leave him here alone with Sheridan, so I stayed, too. Wait, and your brother didn't question that? I told him that he wanted to stay in case there were any problems, in case I needed help with anything. Hey, what's going on? Are we having a party? Antonio, hijo, ¿cómo te sientes? 
Oh. Antonio, we were very worried about you last night. You were supposed to stay at the hospital for observation. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, Doc. But I felt fine. I just didn't want to spend another night away from my bride-to-be. Sheridan told us about the temporary blindness you experienced last night. Yeah. It's no big deal. It was just a couple of minutes that I couldn't see anything. But I'm fine now. Hey, I got to wake up and see the woman of my dreams this morning. Hey, you know, you didn't have to stay here last night, Luis. I know. Hey, I was really worried about you. Well, I appreciate that. I don't know if there's anybody else that I would trust to stay with my fiance but you, Luis. I know you never go after my girl, huh? Well, don't worry about breakfast. I'll get something at home. I must return to my three wives. Sounds absurd, doesn't it? <laughs> What can I say? Some men are just babe magnets. <laughs> they can't help themselves. Uh, oh yes, you're absolutely right. <laughs> well, good night or good day. Shall I kiss you? Mm. Oh, no, no, of course not. <laughs> uh, I'm very sorry about Timmy. I, I, uh, I'll call you. Nothing. I grow exotic plants down there. They need heat and a special red light. The door's this way. Yes, very well. Goodbye. Yes, well, uh, goodbye. <laughs> My friends in the basement didn't take care of you there and then, Julian. I would love to have watched them finish you off. <sighs> oh, Julian, what, what on earth? I... Becca, what are you doing here? I'm, I'm looking for you. I was about to ask you the same question. Uh, not now. I, I, I just want to go home. J Julian, wait, but... Why were you here at Tabitha's all night? What, what is going on and what on earth happened to your hair? My what? Oh, my God. Julian, what did Tabitha do to you? I don't know. I'm not sure I'll ever know. to think about all the things that you've gone through. I mean, you almost lost your life. You almost lost your baby, and all because of this obsession that you have with Ethan. I mean, you have a little baby now. You can't be so selfish, you know? I am thinking about little Ethan, but Ethan would be the best father in the world. Now, don't you worry, okay? I've got everything under control. I'm gonna get Ethan back. Good morning, Whitney. Oh, Teresa. Good morning. Good morning. Come on. See? You're worried about nothing. Excuse me? I think Teresa finally heard me last night. And she realizes that there's no future for us and she just has to give up. I don't think so. I think Teresa's playing a new game. I just don't know what it is. Well, Antonio, I'm, I'm glad that you're feeling better, but I'd like you to come back to the hospital with me now. Can't you just send me the results for the tests or call me with them? Actually, I'd like to run a few more tests. Antonio, mijo, please, do as Eve says. You know, you really should have stayed there. Anything could have happened on your way over here, and no one even knew you were gone. I always want you to be by my side. We're in so much love together. I mean, we, we can't even get enough of each other. My should Please, Antonio, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> I don't mean to embarrass you. 
I remember when she was still dying and she didn't know she was Sheridan Crane yet. And when she found out, I was afraid that she wouldn't have a place for me in her heart anymore, but she did. I mean, it looks like things haven't changed at all. Maybe things have changed. Yeah, maybe they've changed a lot. matter with you, Tabitha Lennox. You had the perfect opportunity to get rid of Julian Crane, and you blew it. <laughs> so where's the body? Where's Julian? Gone. He went home. I didn't kill him. What? Why not? I don't know why not. I had my hands round his throat, ready to choke the life out of him. Of course, he thought I was playing some twisted sex game. Oh, Tabitha, I still can't believe you had sex with him. You do know that he and his family are the enemy. I can't believe it either. I'll tell you this, though. <laughs> Julian certainly lived up to his reputation. <gasps> he was, uh, very creative. Okay. <laughs> Too much information. Save it for the Larry Winger show. At any rate, I didn't kill him, and I don't know why. What are you going to do now? I wait for another opportunity to arise, I suppose. I, I have got too many lives and relationships to destroy. I can't waste all my time on Julian Crane. Oh, what's this doing here? Who's there? Is it Julian again? No, no. No, that, that noise didn't come from the front door. The basement? No. I recognize that knock. I haven't heard it for some time, though. Oh, he's coming from upstairs. Upstairs? Yes, the attic. Oh, come on, <laughs> zombie. I'll show you. You wouldn't want to miss this. Oh. Oh. Well, well, isn't this cozy? All three wives together in the same room. Well, Pookie, isn't it time we decided who is the real Mrs. Julian Crane? I think you're right, Rebecca. Oh, Ivy. My dear Ivy, mother of my children. Now, I've had enough of you. I've had more years with you than any man should have to endure. And then... There's my lovely Rebecca. <laughs> the wildly imaginative Rebecca. This is ridiculous and pointless, Julian. While you were supposedly dead, a judge declared Teresa your legal wife. What about my appeal? I mean, surely the court will throw out Julian's bogus overnight Bermuda divorce. I'm trying, Mother, but at this point, the decision still stands. Oh, I don't believe it. So you're saying that Teresa is the real Mrs. Crane? That's what the judge decided. Well, well, well. <laughs> My young, nubile bride, the woman I thought tried to murder me. <laughs> Rebecca, if the law says that Teresa's my wife, and that's that, I can't go against the law, can I? <laughs> oh, that beautiful body so young and tender give you a kiss don't you ever touch me Julie that's it I want you out of here I want you out of my house now out what do you mean things have changed what things? Luis? Just forget it. We'll talk about it later, right? Right now, your doctor's telling you to go to the hospital, and that's what you're going to do. It's, it's very important, Antonio. Please, mijo, don't be stubborn. All right. All right, I can't fight all of you. I... I'll go get dressed and be out in a minute. I'll go with you, son. Oh, I'm 
sorry, Dr. Russell. I just, I cannot take him saying that he's going to make love to my fiance one more time. Just too much. I know, Luis. I am so sorry. No, I'm sorry. But look, I, I know that this can't be any easier on you, okay? I know this is difficult, Luis. But you can't do anything to put Antonio's life at risk. And any upset or any shock could do him serious harm. I know. I don't want to hurt Antonio. But as soon as we find out he's okay, I'm telling him about me and Sheridan, okay? How do you feel, mijo? I told you I feel fine. I don't know what happened last night. Maybe I'm just tired. Don't worry, okay? Everything's gonna be fine. I'm great. I, I have a wonderful woman that I'm in love with. She means everything to me. If anybody tried to come between us, I'd kill them. to the future. What lies ahead is behind this door. The future? Unreal. Yes, and obviously there's something in the future that this door wants me to know about. Yes, well, are, are you going to open it? Patient zombie. It's been a long time since I've opened this door. What's wrong? Is it, is it locked? No, no, it's just stuck. As I said before, it's been a long time. just fine. And as soon as we hear that he is, I'm going to tell him about us, okay? Doctor, for the test results on Antonio Lopez Fitzgerald. Thanks, Anne. Oh, I guess I'll just go in and patient what's going on. You heard me. I want you out of this house now. I'm not going anywhere. What? I said I'm not leaving. This is my house now as much as it is yours. Your house? Well, we'll see what my attorneys have to say about that. Oh, don't bother, Julian. See, you can't do anything. The judge declared that I am the one and only legal Mrs. Julian Crane, and that's who I am. Well, then perhaps you best get yourself upstairs and get into bed. I intend to have my conjugal rights. Now, don't you ever come near me, ever. And if you ever try to touch me, I won't kill you. I'll make you wish you were dead. Do you understand? So you have no rights, not to me. The only right you have is to look at me every single day and know that you're the one who put yourself into this mess. Oh. 
And I'm not going to let you off the hook like Ivy and Rebecca did. No, no, no. I'm going to get what I want right up front. What do you want? A job <clears throat> at Crane Industries. A job doing what? You're completely mad. Why on earth do you want a job? Not just any job. Nothing secretarial or menial. I want a major position. One with decision-making powers. Teresa, you are definitely disturbed. I'm perfectly sane. No, you're not. You're crazy as a loon to, to think you'll ever be given a position of any kind of crane industries. It will never happen. Oh, yes, it will. Or I'll see to it that you're the one who's booted out of the company. How do you think you're going to have me booted out of Crane Industries? You want to find out? Try me. See what happens. Now, there's no need to be vicious, Teresa. Whatever happened to that sweet little cream puff who came down to beautiful Bermuda to find me and talk to me? You gave me a wake-up call, Julian. You taught me how to be mean. See, I learned that in this family, if you want something, you've got to go after it full force. Otherwise, you get walked all over. She has truly lost it. I've never seen her this way. Well, I'm through being walked on Julian. It's time I started doing the walking. Amazing. Would you look at Ethan? He actually admires Teresa for this insane. You better do something quick or you are going to lose him. I'm thinking a corner office with a window. Oh, you tell him, Teresa. <laughs> I knew that girl had it in her, and I'm never wrong. <laughs> I want a job at Crane Industries, Julian. You'll see to it, won't you? Antonio, I, I have your test results. Finally. So what's the story, Doc? When do I get to break out of here? Well, I, I'd like to speak to you alone for a moment. Alone? Why would you want to talk to me alone? Anything you had to say, you can say in front of my family, the most important people to me in the world. I don't want to keep any secrets from us. belong to. Hmm? Come on, Doc. Let's have it. How am I? And, and don't tell me anything's wrong with me, because I've never felt better. Well, you're right. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Thank God. Are you sure? But you mean you had us all worried to death for nothing? Well, that's why I did those new tests, Louise. There were questions, and, well, they had to be answered. I'm so happy, Antonio. Thank goodness you're going to be all right. My prayers have been answered, Michael. Well, so now we know my brother's okay. I'm going to tell him, all right? I'm so glad you're okay, but uh, there is something I have to tell you. It's uh, something important.
My God, I do believe you're serious. Serious is a heart attack. But no woman has ever held a position of power at Crane Industries. It just isn't done. Times change. Hmm. Not shirt, not, not Ivy. I mean, no Crane woman has ever wanted to work. And Father won't stand for it. He and I run Crane Industries. Julian, I won't be pushed aside. I want a job at Crane Industries. See to it. Otherwise, I'll call Alistair myself. She's got more guts than a government mule. <laughs> You're a monster. I wish they really had executed you. If you didn't deserve it then, you certainly do now. <laughs> Julian, I'm just getting started. When I'm finished with the cranes, you'll really wish I were dead. <laughs> Did you see the look on Julian's face? Priceless. I knew I'd picked a winner in that girl, and I was right. I don't understand, Alistair. This girl, Teresa, is talking about destroying her family. And you laugh. <laughs> what are you up to? Ah, all in good time. Don't worry. I have my own special plans for Teresa. 